Now, an example of how you can use the polygonal lasso before we move on. So let's say, for example, that this house number here you want to duplicate because you want to place it either in another picture or you want to move it to another part of your picture. Because it is just a rectangle, more or less, I can select it and click on the four corners. So I click and release my mouse, click and release once more, once more, and finally to close it. You see how I've got a little circle next to my tool, which shows me that it's going to close the selection. Now, if I wanted to zoom further in and fix more, I could. I make sure I am on the layer I want to copy from. So copy and paste. And this layer 3 now is what I have pasted. I cannot see it because it's exactly on top, but if I get my uh, move tool and I move it, here is my duplicate layer. Now Command-0 fits my picture to the screen and I can now take this and say, for example, that I want to uh, place it there. Okay, now one more way to select things. Let's go to this picture, uh, is the magic wand. The magic wand has got a tolerance level. What this means is the magic wand, when you click, it looks at the color you clicked on and tries to find colors that appear to be similar to the color you clicked on and selects them. Because right now my tolerance was very big, you see it didn't just select the green, it selected a lot more. So I'm going to Command D to deselect, I'm going to change my tolerance, let's say to 40, hit enter, and now I'm going to try again. Now you see it did a much better job here. Uh, it's missing a bit there, but that will not be a problem, and it has done an okay job here. So if I wanted to remove the background from this picture, I am on the right track, because now with the freehand tool here, I can hold down the shift key so that I add to my selection and just go and say this part, I want it all in. Then I can zoom in a little bit here to see what's going on. I can take again the freehand tool and I'm going to say this bits from the feathers that you selected, I don't want them selected. So Alt to remove and I'm taking this out. I could fix it here, but for now I'm not going to, to do that. This is just a rough selection. And moving around, holding the Shift key, I can see that uh, it's not perfect. I could fix a little bit here, so let's remove this part of the flowers from the background selection. So Alt to remove. I don't want these leaves there to be selected. And Command-0 to see my picture again. Now, because I am on the background layer, there isn't a lot I can do with it because it's locked. So I'm going to drag it to the new layer button to create a copy. So now I am on the copy layer and I can click the eye to disable the background. So now, if I am on this layer, what I can do is, for example, with the move tool, I could just move the selection if I wanted to, that's what I have selected, or I'm going to delete it. What does that mean now? My background is transparent. So if I go to another picture, let's say this one, and I'm going to select it, copy it, so Command C, go back here, and paste. Now because I pasted it over the layer of the bird I have, it doesn't let me see it, but I can drag it from here and release below. So now I have changed my background of the picture. It's not a perfect job because as you can see here it's not very good and I still have things to do in here and it's not the smoothest selection everywhere. So it is a way to do things with a magic wand if you just want to try things out. So if for example what I wanted to do was to just see if this background would work with this picture, I can do it like this because it would only take me two or three minutes to do. If I was not then certain that this is what I want to do, I would need to use probably a different way of making the selection that would give me a smoother edge and a better result. So Magic Wand is good for experimenting most of the time or to remove small things, like for example if I go here and I just want to remove this little uh, bit of background there, which is almost flat, if I click you see that it's doing a good job of removing that. 
So that's what the magic wand does.